everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about five designer items to jumpstart your luxury collection, especially if you are a beginner and don't know really, really where to start. Um, I did a video so similar to this, but it was very specific to luxury and designer handbags. And I think that video, that video is great. So I can link it right up here, um, but consider watching that right after this one because I think it's super helpful. But in today's video, we have five categories that I think should be covered if you're kind of starting out your collection. I have examples for every Everything, lots of eye candy and I will take the time and I will link new versions along with pre-loved versions right down below because honestly I do recommend going the pre-loved route for many things because you can save hundreds if not thousands of dollars on some of these things and why the heck not I have tons of pre-loved things and they look brand new so um, fashion files my favorite place I'll spend some time and find some really good finds for you because I scour that website like crazy um, but without further ado let's get started if you're new though consider subscribing. I would love to have you back. Excuse the brief interruption for a quick Instagram plug. If you happen to have an Instagram and you don't follow me on there, I would love for you to take a few seconds now and do that. I'm about 2,000 away from 100,000 followers. That's kind of my goal. So if you want to do that now, great. If not, I understand. I still love you, but back to the video. Um, but yeah, let's just get started. Okay, like sometimes I feel like there's lots of coverage, but then I like turn and then... My hair is just gonna stay there. <laughs> okay, so the very first category is something that I recommend everybody to get. This is such a cool thing, and it is a key holder. So throughout this video, we're gonna hear probably SLG. Um, that stands for small leather good. What's funny is though, this isn't even leather, this is actually canvas. Um, but I'm sure a lot of you out there, if you're like luxury pros, you know what an SLG stands for, but there's so many people that probably don't. So I just wanted to clarify, small leather good. It's a really cool thing. I have a whole tray. So this is a key holder, and guys, this is life changing. This little thing here, I, it's so nice. You literally, look guys, you put all of your keys in here. It keeps everything in its place. It's not like this janky, like your keys are flopping around everywhere, scratching up your bag. I love this. I always just can find everything easily. I can transfer it to my husband. Like he'll be like, oh, I wanna move your car. I just give him this whole thing. It's great. It fits key fobs. It just, it fits so much. And I don't know. So this is Louis Vuitton. You can get it in monogram. This is the Demi Ben print. Um, you can get it Chanel and it actually is a leather version. There's so many different versions out there, but this is the very first item that I recommend everybody getting. Oh darn, I thought I was done. I'm not. This comes in several sizes. This is the six ring key holder. That's what they call it, like a, a ring key holder. Um, and I, I suggest the six ring. Don't go for the four. And I'll tell you why. Because behind here, you can actually fit cards. You can fit your driver's license in there. You can fit several of them and it will still close up. And it's it honestly becomes like a little mini wallet. It's so cool. So go for, go for this size. So speaking of wallets, that's probably one of my favorite things to talk about. We're going to talk about several wallet options because that is something that I, you know, if you're gonna start out your, your collection, your luxury collection, you need a good wallet, but you have to decide what kind of person you are because there's two types of people out there. Are you a person that needs a full size wallet? You need places to put your cash, a lot of cards, lots of coins. You want some, you know, place to put receipts. You have to figure out if you want all of that or if you are a mini wallet person. I think a lot of people automatically think, oh yeah, I want a full size wallet. But then when they try out a mini wallet, you realize maybe you are that. So anyway, here are some of my picks. I want to show you some different options. So for full size wallets, I do recommend the Louis Vuitton Clements wallet. Now, Louis Vuitton is known for so many wallet options, so I really don't think you can necessarily go wrong. Um, I have tried out many, but this has proved to be my favorite because it still is a full size wallet, but it is slender. I love how it zips, so it's very secure. And and there's not an insane amount of compartments in here. I feel like a lot of wallets that are full size just have so many compartments and people look at it and they're like, oh, this is so good for organization. But guys, it gets overwhelming. You, you don't know like, wait, where, where's my money? Where's the slot for where I put that card? Like it just gets too complicated. So this is very simple. You have slots on either side for cards. You have a nice middle slot for your coins. And then on either side, you can have one side for cash and one side for receipts. It's like very basic, but just organized and to the point. I don't know. I just really, really like the way this wallet is done. So anyway, Clements 
wallet. <laughs> now mini wallets, this to me is where it's at. I'm obsessed with a good mini wallet because I find that I don't really need to take that much with me and then this allows me to pretty much carry whatever bag I want and this will still fit. So I have three that I am obsessed with. This is a Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet. I got this a while back and guys, I use it all the time. I, I think I said in a video that I wasn't sure about how these card slots would be, like what if like the card just fell out and guys, no, the card slots are so secure. There's no way that these would fall out. Sometimes it's even hard to pull them out. So it is like a trifold wallet. You stick cash in here. It's just so, it's just a really good wallet. So this is a Victorine, highly recommend. Now, if you want Chanel, there are different options. This is the Zip. Um, little mini wallet. This was actually gifted to me by Jerusha Couture here on YouTube. Thank you so much, Jerusha. You are the best. This was such a fun surprise. I cannot believe she purchased this for me. Crazy. Um, and then this is the snap version. Um, and I, I, I carried this for so long. And honestly, this kind of persuaded me to think that I, I actually do like snap closure. So this is the snap closure. This is a zip closure. Love either option. Um, but this doesn't hold quite as much as this. This is kind of pushing full size, yet it's still a mini. So th these, I'll link all of them down below, but I've tried so many and these by far are my top favorites. Favorites. I can't talk. For the next category, I feel like it, this is just a good suggestion because um, when people think of a luxury collection, they usually think of handbags, wallets, some things I just talked about obviously, um, but I actually want to recommend buying something that you can wear, like you physically wear it. And I don't mean like really expensive blazers or coats or pants, I'm talking about maybe jewelry. So I do have some Cartier jewelry. This is, I'm not trying to like, oh look at me, I'm, I'm bragging, like, I, I, I promise with all of my videos, I'm coming from, not coming from a bragging place. I don't really say that enough sometimes, I feel like, even though that's annoying for people. But anyway, um, I just find that my jewelry, I look at this, I literally look down on my hand every day. I have a, I do have a love bracelet and then um, these rings are two Cartier rings that I decided to stack. And I look at them every single day, guys, and I appreciate them. They far surpass, um, any of, just any of the, like the bags and the shoes that I have, like that kind of stuff. Um, I do actually have a nail uh, ring here. This is the Justin Clue ring. Um, but if you don't love jewelry, I also suggest some other options. Belts. Belts are really cool too because you can wear um, very, very, very affordable clothing. Um, I buy clothes at Walmart. I buy clothes at H&M, Forever 21. Like really, you know, inexpensive clothing, but I, I jazz it up and I spruce it up with belts. So I've got two Gucci belts. I've got a Ferragamo belt. Um, honestly, they don't really fit me very well. I, I, I purchased the wrong sizing. I've said that in other videos buy the right size. You could get an expensive scarf if you love wearing scarves with your clothing. Maybe you live in Maine, I don't know. Um, just consider maybe adding one piece that you can physically wear and that'll just be a little bit different than what people you know, typically buy for luxury items. The next category to jumpstart your luxury collection is to buy one travel piece. Now, again, you need to think of the kind of person you are, so there are several options here. The first smallest option would be a toiletry pouch or bag. So I know it seems like I love Louis Vuitton. I do. If, you've, if you're new to my channel, I do have other things than just Louis Vuitton, but when it comes to, you know, SLGs and just some key basic things, I feel like Louis Vuitton is often a good place to start, but obviously you do you. Um, but this is an old school toiletry bag. They don't even make this anymore. I bought this pre-loved. I saved so much money and it is so cool. It's very, oh my, that was, that was, that was a lady thing. But this, it's very dirty, okay? It's very dirty, but it is wipeable inside and it comes like super clean if I just take some baby wipes and I wipe it off. Um, it's very good quality because it's actually old. I feel like the older pieces sometimes are made even better. Um, so this is a great travel piece. I love use, using it. I love packing it. It's just awesome. I won't spend too much time on this, but this is the Neverfull, super popular. A lot of people use this as their regular everyday bag, but I highly suggest getting the GM size and using it for travel. This is such a good travel companion. You can use it as a carry-on. It fits so much. Um, I actually have an organizer. I can link the organizer in it. So there's literally places for everything. Um, I love it. So this is a great travel piece. Now, hold on a moment. I must get my other one. Okay. So this is the Louis Vuitton Keep All. 
I kept wanting to say carry all, which is something else. But anyway, this is the keep all, duh. Um, there's so many sizes for this. This is actually the largest size. This is the 55, wow, I haven't, I'm getting rusty. <laughs> um, this is the 55 size. This is the largest size that you can still take on an airplane. Um, and this does have the black treated leather, which I do suggest if you love monogram, because if you buy just the classic version, it does come with untreated leather and then you're prone to some watermarks and staining, which some people like. Um, you could spray it with the Apple Guard, which I mentioned in another video. Um, but I do just love how this has black. It's kind of masculine, but I really, really love it. So this is a super cool travel piece, especially just for weekend getaways. If I'm going on an airplane, um, I do tend to try, you know, carry just the hard luggage, which again, you could invest in a luxury piece there and, and feel really cool and special. Um, but but for, for weekend getaways, this is what I, I especially love. Alrighty guys, we are on to the fifth and final recommendation on jumpstarting your luxury collection. And of course, I'm going to say a good freaking handbag. So for that, I'm going to direct you to this video where I talk all about that. I talk about five specific handbags that I really recommend on jumpstarting your collection. So I think it's like a really good, funny video, actually. You'll enjoy it. So head on over there. Thank you for watching this one. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Um, but I will see you right on over here on my next video. Bye.